Earth's atmosphere. In the troposphere, the part of the atmosphere that extends from the Earth's surface to an altitude of about 11 kilometers, the temperature is not uniform but decreases with increasing elevation. Part A show that if the temperature variation is approximated by the linear relationship T is equal to T0 minus alpha Y, where T0 is the temperature at the Earth's surface and T is the temperature at height Y, the pressure P at height Y is natural logarithm P divided by P0 equals mg over r alpha natural logarithm t0 minus alpha y over t0 where p0 is the pressure at the earth's surface and capital m is the molar mass for air the coefficient alpha is called the lapse rate of temperature it varies with atmospheric conditions but an average value is about 0.6 degrees celsius per 100 meters Part B show that the above result reduces in the limit alpha goes to 0 to P equals P0 e to the minus mgy over RT. All right, so uh, first we need to find a pressure as a function of height. So uh, the pressure P0 uh, when we have a fluid, in this, in this case it's uh, air molecules, uh, at a certain height h uh, above a, a level here we can see that it's going to be the pressure uh, outside pressure p plus the additional pressure due to the weight of the fluid so pressure at the bottom p0 is pressure p plus uh, mass of the um, fluid gravitational acceleration g divided by the area a so if i multiply top and bottom with h this becomes p plus mgh divided by area times h so this is basically pressure plus because area times the height gives us the volume uh, m total mass divided by v multiplied by gh which is uh, p0 plus rho gh so we can see that the pressure uh, it's going to be p plus rho gh uh, so we can see that pressure p at an elevation h will be the pressure at the bottom p0 minus rho gh rho is our density so if i look at a differential change in the pressure dp this will be equal to minus rho g dy so if i move on the y-axis a distance dy it will be rho g minus rho g dy at the same time, uh, if this is a gas, it obeys the ideal gas law. So we will get PV is equal to nRT as our equation of state, which tells us that the volume is nRT over the pressure, nRT over P. So uh, we can substitute that for the density here. dP is equal to... Uh, the density is mass divided by volume so it is minus m p divided by nrt uh, g dy all right so now uh, if n is one n is one mole then m is capital m is the molar mass it's the mass of one mole of this gas. Okay, so uh, if I take the pressure to the left hand side, this will become dP over P, dP over P, uh, 
is equal to minus mg over r uh, and let's make this y a dummy variable dy prime divided by temperature where the temperature varies with height as t0 minus alpha y prime this was given uh, in the problem statement so temperature varies with height so since i have separated the pressure and uh, the height uh, the displacement on the y-axis here i can integrate both sides from the uh, bottom to the top so this will be an integral from p0 to p and this will be from uh, 0 to a certain uh, distance y on the y-axis in order to perform this integral I do a change of variables z is equal to t0 minus alpha y prime so that dz is equal to minus alpha dy prime and the integral of dp over p gives me natural logarithm natural logarithm p divided by p0 when evaluated between uh, the values p0 and p so uh, in order to do this properly i have to make this a dummy variable p prime and then evaluate between p0 and p okay and this is going to be the uh, integral from zero so when uh, when i have y prime is equal to uh, zero this is going to be uh, when y prime is zero z is going to be t zero so it's going to be an integral from t zero to t zero minus alpha y for z and for dy prime, I substitute a minus dz over alpha. So I already have a minus sign here. This is going to become plus. So this will be mg divided by alpha r because dy prime is dz over minus alpha. dz over uh, z. And this integral will become, so the left hand side was natural logarithm pressure P divided by pressure at the bottom is equal to mg over alpha times R natural logarithm, uh, the upper limit T0 minus alpha Y divided by the lower limit T0. So I obtain this equation between uh, pressure and the distance on the uh, distance traveled on the y-axis. So this was basically what I wanted to show: mg over r alpha, natural logarithm t0 minus alpha y over t0. That's what I have obtained for natural logarithm p over p0. Now I want to show that this result reduces in the limit alpha goes to zero to this exponential decay let's work on that uh, so if the natural logarithm of p divided by p0 is equal to mg divided by r alpha natural logarithm t0 minus alpha y divided by T0. Now, uh, as you can see, as alpha goes to uh, 0, this is going to become natural logarithm of 1. So let's remember natural logarithm of x. As x approaches 1, we can uh, approximate using Taylor series. Natural logarithm of 1 is 0. Then we take a derivative, we obtain 1 over x, uh, evaluated at x equals 1, x minus 1, etc. So the first non-zero term in Taylor series expansion is going to be x minus 1. So uh, 
This is going to apply here because the limit as alpha goes to zero, t0 minus alpha y over t0 is one. So uh, we, we're going to replace natural logarithm t0 minus alpha y over t0 with uh, x minus 1. So that's going to be t0 minus alpha y over t0 minus 1, which will become uh, t0 minus alpha y minus t0 divided by t0. And the t0s will cancel and this is minus alpha y divided by t0. So if I go back and substitute this result here, I'm going to obtain natural logarithm p over p0 is mg divided by r alpha minus alpha y divided by t0 and as alpha approaches zero but it is finite we can cancel these two and we, we can obtain minus mgy over r t0 in on the right hand side so this implies that if i take the exponential of both sides pressure as a function of y will be equal to p0 e to the minus mgy over r t0 which is the suggested result in part b of the problem it's an exponential uh, decay uh, as you can see here and because uh, t0 is going to become t as uh, alpha goes to zero uh, alpha goes to zero t becomes, it was uh, t0 minus alpha y, t becomes t0. So basically I can replace this t0 with temperature t. All right, so let's summarize what we did here. In the troposphere, the part of the atmosphere that extends from the Earth's surface to an altitude of about 11 kilometers, the temperature is not uniform, but decreases with increasing elevation as T0 minus alpha Y. It's, it's a linear relationship. T0 is the temperature at the Earth's surface, T is at height Y, and pressure at height Y is related to uh, the height Y as natural logarithm P over P0 equals mg over r alpha natural logarithm t0 minus alpha y over t0 now p0 is the pressure at the earth's surface capital m is the molar mass alpha is the lapse rate of temperature which varies with atmospheric conditions but we're taking an average constant value here and we want to know that this result as alpha goes to zero becomes an exponential decay so for any fluid this could be a gas or a liquid uh, we can see that the pressure at the bottom will be the outside pressure P plus the additional pressure due to the weight of the fluid per unit area. So uh, the pressure at the bottom, which would correspond to the pressure at the Earth's surface, is the pressure at height Y plus, at height H in this case, plus the mass of this uh, fluid, multiplied by g the weight per area so p plus mg over a if i multiply with the height i obtain mass per volume which is density times gh so this tells me p at height y is p0 the pressure at the bottom minus rho gh where rho is the density so in the differential uh, form dp is equal to minus rho g dy when i have a small increase in height this will be the change in the pressure at the same time if this is an ideal gas pv equals nrt volume is nrt over p so the density mass per volume becomes 
m divided by v which is p over nrt g dy and if i uh, take the pressure to the left hand side make this a dummy variable integrate from the bottom which is the earth surface to a height y at where, where the pressure will be p uh, this will be on the right hand side since i have taken p here i will be left with m minus mg over r dy prime over t0 minus alpha prime provided that i substitute n equals one mole so that the mass becomes molar mass okay the mass of one mole now uh, you can see that i can perform this integration by substituting t0 minus alpha prime equals z so that dz is minus alpha dy prime so for dy prime i substitute dz over minus alpha so this becomes dz over minus alpha this minus sign is gone t0 minus alpha y prime is z and change of limits when y prime is 0 z is t0 when y prime is y it is t0 minus alpha y this integration the left hand side is natural logarithm uh, evaluated between p0 p becomes natural logarithm p over p0 and the right hand side becomes natural logarithm t0 minus alpha y over t0 so this gives me the equation i'm looking for and in the limit alpha goes to zero, natural logarithm of uh, t0 minus alpha y over t0 approaches x minus 1, where x is this quantity, which is minus alpha y over t0. So uh, alphas will cancel because alpha is approaching zero but finite. So it's, it's going to become minus mgy over rt0. So the pressure at a, uh, at a height y will be p0 into the minus mgy over rt0 or rt because t0 and t will be the same thing when alpha approaches zero.